Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy almost Christmas or happy holidays or happy Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate. Don't mind my growling dogs in the background. Or howling dogs. That, that's a thing too. Um, anyways, I'm a little bit later bringing you guys this. It is currently Friday. Stop, you two. Friday. Come here. Come here, come say hi. Good girl. Uh, Friday, December 17th, um, almost Christmas. I apologize for my appearance. I was in the water this morning for my fifth physio this week, um, and that's basically all that this week's video is going to be about is all of my physio and all of my exercises, and that's literally just what I've been doing for the past few weeks because, um... Yeah, we're trying to get my knee moving so that I do not have to have a manipulation of the joint under anesthesia. Yeah, try and avoid that at all costs. That would cause a lot more trauma. So anyways, <laughs> there's the other dog. Uh, and I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy the exercises. And let me know what you're liking. Let me know what you're not liking. And I will try to put it all together for my next video. Were you helpful? Yeah? Were you really helpful with my introduction? I didn't think so. So I start and finish all of my physio sessions um, on the recumbent bike. So here I'm just trying to go around. I think this was at the end, so I'm actually getting further here than I normally would at the start. Um, but otherwise I just do pendulums where I go forward and then backwards and forward and then backwards because I can't get quite around. And that is what I do at home as well. Um, I have an upright bike at home, which is a little bit harder than the recumbent to get all the way around on. So... Yeah, this is normally where they start people kind of on the bike to get that range of motion. And then eventually you can get all the way around. It's actually much easier for most people to go backwards uh, around in a circle rather than forwards. So that's kind of why I'm going backwards more than I'm going forwards because I'm just trying to get it over top of that um, top of the circle, I guess, so that I can go all the way around, which I think I finally do at the end. So. That's kind of a staple where they're going to start you to try to get your range of motion back um, is with the bike. Yeah, like I say, I have one at home, but I haven't been able to get all the way around, which I finally did right there. <laughs> uh, this was from the day at physio where I finally got my leg straight. So she actually has a weight on my hip so that I don't cheat by lifting my hip and a weight on my ankle. And I'm sort of just hanging over the pillows, um, yeah, to prop up that part of my knee so that my foot can fall off the bed and try to get straight. So I got to zero degrees that day and I thought I would be <laughs> a lot easier to do that in the future, but it's still just as hard. And then here I'm just showing you guys my first few exercises. So this is from week nine, um, just sit to stands. As you notice, I'm in my kitchen. So that's actually where I do majority of my exercises while I'm making dinner or waiting for something to cook. I will often um, be in the kitchen. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of <laughs> my kitchen in this one in varying degrees of messiness. So I apologize in advance. So this is just a sit to stand from a tall chair and I'm really focusing on using both of my legs equally and extending my knee and extending through my hip and really trying to force that extension. Um, the camera kind of moved here so that's why you can't really see the back of my leg. And then here I give you a bit of a frontal view as well. You can see the change in the muscle mass there still. <laughs> My left leg is way bigger than my right. But yeah, just trying to make equally. I have my hands on my hips, so I'm not cheating with my hips because I like to lift one hip to try to, I guess, take the pressure off my knee, and I'm trying really hard to avoid doing that. And then I also do calf raises, which this is a terrible angle to see that. You actually can't see them at all, so I apologize for that. But yeah, I'm just basically lifting up onto my toes, 
coming back down. And then same thing, I'm trying to make sure it's equal on both sides and that I'm fully extending my knee as much as I possibly can. And yeah, like I said, I often cook dinner, so don't mind me going in and out of the uh, oven. <laughs> Such a pretty day, hey Bubbles? Hi. <laughs> you good girl? Yes. Muddy, but good. So we actually had so much rain this week that that's my old hay shed and we actually moved it from over to the right in this screen where it normally is over to the higher ground on the left side because we had so much water and like borderline flooding into it. There's a picture of me standing on a mat. So if I wasn't on the mat, it would be way deeper and the water was halfway up my boots. So this is the following week. Um, so it would have been week 10. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm wrapping the band around the back of my thigh above my knee and what I do is like basically mini squat pulses and the band basically just gives me the feedback to help get my muscles working to help straighten my leg. Um, I have to again stay nice and tall through my hips so I don't cheat and yeah I think I do move my leg here in a second so that you can see more. Yeah there we go. So yeah, I'm basically just pulsing and then really pushing into that band as I straighten back up. Do you like it? Is it your advent calendar? Should we open you one for December 1st? Should we? Can you speak? Speak. Speak. Speak, speak, speak. 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 Speak, speak. speak. Speak, 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 speak. Come on, speak, speak. <laughs> Good girl. Daddy, I'll get you one. Going to number one. <gasps> I think you're supposed to get them out for her. No, no, you can get them. Dead nummies? Mmm, I wonder what kind that was. Doesn't say. All right, I have to wait till tomorrow. Till tomorrow. So this is week 10 or 11. Um, I think it might have been the end of week 10, maybe the start of week 11. I ended up going to a couple more physios, but basically I went to a smaller chair. I do have to prop it up because um, yeah, I couldn't go right down to the bottom and still, you know, have my feet equal and using both sides together. So I prop up on some pillows just to make me that much taller. But you can see to the left is the other chair that I was using. So it is quite a progression still. And then you can see at the end here that, um, my walk is not great. I can sort of hobble. Look at this mud monster. Uh, so gross. At least she's drinking well. Right? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh goodness, your nose. Oh, what are we all scared of? Latest exercise from my physio. Sitting and trying to bend my leg and push my kneecap down. Ouch. At the same time. And it still really hurts, but my leg is not bending or extending well enough. So we're trying a few different things. Along with laying off the bed, I've been trying to put my foot on top of the other one. I try to insert a picture. I haven't been able to kind of film that yet, but... Um, to try to get it straight just because I'm having a whole bunch of issues actually getting that range of motion of <sighs> bending and extending lately because it hurts like I don't know every time I push it's probably a solid 7 out of 10 like not pain sometimes it's pain that was just a sharp one it's like stretchy awful heavy pain I don't know if that makes sense but yeah so anyways, I've been working at it hard. <laughs> Fingers crossed it's better next week. I am going to physio. Let's turn it around. Also just making dinner. 
I am going to physio twice a week right now um, because I needed some needles and IMS to release my muscles as well. Um, so yeah, I that really hurts too. If you don't know what IMS is, they like put the needles in and twist them and then like search around your muscles to try to get them to release different knots and things. And um, it's very painful, but it's very helpful to get the muscle release, which is why my knee is not doing well because all my muscles are too tight. My goodness. Oh gosh. Is it snowy? My goodness. Hi. Could you find your bowl? Could you? <laughs> oh, icicles on your face. Do you like to come into the out now? Can you even get through there? <laughs> I just thought I would show you guys a little bit of the road conditions. <laughs> I have to have physio a city over because we live in a smaller town. Um, and yeah, there's a lake to the left there. You can't even see it. And it's literally right beside the road. Um, there's been no plows out. <laughs> this was coming home. There still have been no plows out. And it was actually even slip more slippery on the way home because it had been packed down and the temperature was changing. We passed like four or five accidents. So it's just a little look at Canadian weather and snowfall if you don't live here. Hey guys, long time since I have talked to the phone like this. So, uh, excuse my, I guess you could say, cold mess of an appearance. It has been snowing like crazy here. And I just went out and checked on the horses and took Nancy's muzzle off so she could have a break. Um, but yeah, I thought I would just update you on the last few weeks. I don't even remember the last thing that I said talking to this, but... I've had a bit of a rough road, um, so my knee is not where it should be um, right now. When I talked with my surgeon on Tuesday um, last week, so oh, a week tomorrow I talked to him, I was only 80% flexion and about 8% extension and he wanted me to be 90 and 0. So he was talking about like how we might have to manipulate the joint and all this stuff and that would actually cause a lot more trauma. Um, if you had to go back in and manipulate the joint, obviously if it's not moving, it's because the joint is not lubricated or it's stuck a little bit because it had to be straight for like the, I think it was seven weeks I was in that brace. Um, so that I'm trying to avoid that at all costs, but before I talked to him, I had already decided to do an extra physio and get in the pool. So I've been seeing physio twice a week now and the second physio that I'm going to see I actually work with him and he is doing IMS or intramuscular stimulation which just helps all of the muscles release because my muscles are very tight trying to protect my knee because they think that that's their job so even though my brain is telling my leg to straighten my knee and all the muscles well I guess I want my leg to straighten but my brain and my muscles are saying no and trying to make my knee bend and same thing when I go forward, it almost feels like I hit a brick wall when I get to a certain amount, or I guess when I go back, when I get to a certain amount of flexion, it's, it's just like I hit a brick wall and I can't do it. So, um, yeah, so currently I'm seeing two physios in the clinic a week. Last week I also started in the pool doing pool physio, which has been a lot of fun. So we're working with the noodles, trying to get some flexion and some extension, um, mostly flexion though, because that's kind of where it my surgeon has told me to focus on. Um, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> so I'm basically doing physio five times a week right now. I just really don't want to have him manipulate my joint and I don't want to be set back that much more in my rehab and I want my leg to move again. And he said basically, so tip for you guys, he said, my arm is getting tired. Let's see if I can do this. Um, so he said that I could drive whenever I felt comfortable, which I think I would be comfortable right now, but he was also like, 
make sure that you can walk because if someone rear ends you in the snow and you get out of the car and you have a brace and you're limping, um, ICBC, which is our insurance provider here in Canada or Canada, but also in British Columbia, um, could maybe deny me insurance coverage. So that scared me a little bit. So I want to make sure I can walk without a limp, which I am getting better. Um, but I'm not quite there yet because I don't have that extension and that flexion. So that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> uh, three days in the water, two days in the physio, all my exercises. I am sure I've put some in here. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed that before I talk to him again at the start of January, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's because I won't talk to you guys again until after those um, <laughs> that I will be able to drive and move and walk and walk without crutches. My goal is to be off my crutches by Christmas. I'm almost there right now. I'm actually only using them when there is ice and snow, which has been like all the time right now because it's snowing. Like we're probably going to get another, I get called for up to 15 centimeters overnight right now. And I probably put some clips in of where we had a foot. So yeah, couple little bumps in the road. Um, third time around though for me, third knee surgery I've had, I was imagining that it probably wouldn't be as easy this time around. So fingers crossed I can get there before I talk to him in four weeks and he's not gonna have to go in and manipulate my joint and cause me a whole bunch more trauma on top of all the trauma I've had. So there we go, that's your little update. And hopefully it gets better from here. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I th thought I would just show you a little bit of <laughs> the animals enjoying the snow as well. Makes them rather frisky. Don't mind our temporary fencing and half-built barn. I think I mentioned in one of the last videos that we um, we had to put a bit of a hold on it, but hopefully we will still have a barn in the future, and that's what that is. So here is my week 12 exercise progressions. Um, so basically it's, I'm still working on squatting like without the chair. And then I'm also working, I do it normally on a stair, but just because I didn't want to move the camera, I brought out one of our coolers from the storage room. Um, and I'm basically trying to bend my leg 
and using my body weight um, to kind of come forward and try to get as much knee flexion or bent as much as I can bend my knee is what I'm trying to work on there. But with my body weight, I'm trying to keep my hip down because as you can kind of see, my hip wants to rise as I go forward. This is a really good one because I can, um, you know, put my body weight into it and yeah, just try to force it. It definitely hurts. Like <laughs> everything I do hurts because my knee does not want to bend at all. But if you have a knee surgery and you don't have to be in a straight leg brace like I did for seven weeks, you won't have as many issues as I do. But if you didn't, then yeah, I think there's some flour on the floor beside me or something from dinner. Because like I said, I always do this when I am cooking. So anyways, don't mind that. And I try to make sure that I always straighten back as well and get some extension because my knee really doesn't like to go from flexion to extension because it's so stiff and tight which they kind of call rebounding. Like I'll go, I'll flex and then I won't want to extend and I'll extend and I won't want to flex. But as you can see, I am kind of getting more and more as I do go forward and I'm still trying to push my patella or my kneecap down like I did in the last video where I was sitting in the chair. Another one that got added this week, I don't think I have a video of it, is um, a side step up on the stairs. So I step up with my right leg and I'm facing sideways and it's a lot easier to step up to the side on a stair than it is to go forward with knee flexion. So I'm doing that a little bit and then just really focusing on straightening up as I um, kind of step up and straighten my leg and then coming back down. So it's a tiny bit of strengthening, but mostly just giving that feedback of extension to get the knee to move forward, to get the knee to move back. Tell me you just opened a brand new lead rope without telling me you just opened a brand new lead rope. The dog is the only one in the house that has an app calendar. <laughs> Were they all the same treats? Are they all the same? Maybe they're different kinds. Oh! Where'd he go? Oh. oh there's a can down there. Ugh. All right, guys, so that is it for this kind of nine to 12 week progress video. So like I said, a lot of it is just exercising. I, as I said, I am also in the pool three times a week. So in the pool, I'm doing a lot of stuff with the pool noodles, trying to get my knee to bend mostly. And then just um, the water actually works really well for keeping it nice and cool, keeping the swelling down, getting all of the fluid moving around in your knee from the pressure of the water. And it also is more of a um, kind of pain control. So it doesn't hurt as bad in the water. But it's really weird because I can bend it in the water and it doesn't hurt. But I almost get to a point where it's like rocks or it's like wooden and it's just blocked and I can't go any further. So, yeah, it's kind of a scary feeling. But I am getting better. Um, I actually was at physio today when I am recording this. But I will add that into the next one. And yeah, so it is slowly getting better. It is super frustrating because I work at it, I feel like, all day, every day. Um, and sometimes it just doesn't seem like it's getting any better. But then I'll go back to physio and it'll be easier to make it around the bike or whatever. <laughs> so it is slowly coming. I talked to my surgeon again at the start of January and hopefully my range of motion is enough at that point that I will be able to avoid the knee manipulation. I really don't want to be put out and have my knee snapped, <laughs> which I mean, if it's between that and never moving my knee well again, like maybe it's worth it. But yeah, basically trying to do everything in my power to avoid that. The pool has been super helpful though. So if you are going through a knee surgery and rehabilitation, I would highly recommend getting into a pool if you can, or one of your local pool programs for people that need help with some rehab or anything like that because it was definitely a game changer. Not only with, I think it has been helping my range of motion a lot, but also my mental health because it's almost like I'm able to do a little bit of exercise when I'm in the pool and I haven't been able to exercise since before my knee surgery. So definitely recommend those things. Anyways, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to everyone. I hope you guys have a great rest of your 2021 year 
And as always, thank you for watching. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe if you are enjoying my videos and following our knee, well, our, mine and my horse's <laughs> knee surgery recovery. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys in 2022 for the next installment of this series. Thanks so much again for watching and have a wonderful day.